Hi, welcome to Open Hand Farm. Today is something totally different. <laughs> and I want to let you know that if you are squeamish or don't like to see animals processed, then please just turn off the video right now. Our daughter had six chickens who had stopped laying and she needed to get rid of them but didn't know what to do so she brought them to us and we are processing them now they are older chickens so they'll have to be roasters we do not have a plucker we did not want to mess with boiling water and all that kind of stuff so we are simply skinning them watch some videos and in those videos they process them by skinning them and not even cleaning the innards out. You just simply cut the meat off of the carcass. So that's what we're gonna do. We will still have the feet, the bones from the legs and thighs in order to make a bone broth. So we're just gonna make that work. So let me show you how we're doing this. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the feet. And we're just gonna find this joint and bend it. And then go in after it's bent and just cut the tendons. And you might have to kind of maneuver it a couple times to get all the... I'm trying not to work with the knife in my hand because I don't wanna accidentally cut myself. It's a little hard because the feathers are definitely in your way here. But now I can see that joint and I'm just gonna cut around it. I'm gonna fold it back on itself so I can see this side too and cut the skin. And now I can see my tendons. There's one right here. Cut that one. And there's one on this side. Let me bend it so you can see it, maybe. There. That way the bone is clean. It's not jagged from being cut and broken. And now we're gonna do the same thing to this one. I'm just gonna cut the skin so that I can see what I'm doing in there. I can kind of feel where it is. All right, we've got a tendon right there. And then on this side, it's right in here somewhere. So that will show me. Yeah, I felt it release. And go all the way around. And Hmm, that's a big one. That's a really big tendon there. You see that? But we got a nice smooth joint. Okay, now the next thing is we're gonna lay it on its back. Its feet are down here. This is the bottom. This is where the head was. We're gonna feel the breastbone and you can see under the feathers the bone sticking right there. We're just gonna pull some of that skin up and we're gonna make a slit, just big enough to put our fingers into. So as you can see, I can fit my fingers in there. We got a nice hole and we're gonna pull. And as we pull, it just comes right off of that skin.
Look at all that fat. <laughs> you can tell these are older birds. Okay, I'm gonna kind of run my fingers between the skin and the meat and continue to pull this skin off of the carcass. Okay, now notice we have not opened up this bird, so you don't wanna accidentally poke into something. After we get in here, the first thing we wanna do is pull our legs out. So like, here's the end of the leg and we're just gonna pull it, pull the skin off of it like a sleeve. So you need to kind of pull it, kind of get it started, get your fingers underneath there. So I have fingers on this side, I have fingers on this side, and I'm just gonna pull the skin. It'll be coming off, let me turn this way so you can see it better. It'll be like coming off like a sock. I've still got to kind of get under the skin here. All right, now we're gonna pull. And it's not as hard as it looks like it is. See how the sock is turned inside out now? And we're just gonna keep pulling until it comes off. And there's our leg. Now we'll do the other side. We're gonna pull the skin back as much as we can off of the leg. I'm getting a lot of feathers here. Got a lot of fat going on. All right, expose what I can, the top of the leg, and then start pulling that sock off while I'm holding on. Eventually you can get under the sock and pull. All right, there's two legs. We've got two legs and a breast. So now we're gonna do these wings. Now, I am not going to save the small part of the wing. I'm just gonna save the bigger little legette portion, whatever you wanna call it, drumette. So I feel it here on the body. I'm gonna run my fingers out and I feel where it, there's like a knuckle bone. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did on the legs. I'm gonna bend it and I'm gonna pop that bone out of place. Then I'm gonna start cutting through here to see where my tendons are. I wanna try not to cut the bone or break it, which I might have a little bit there on the very tip, just because then it's, it's a nicer cut. You don't have this sharp bone poking at you. We kind of go in there and see if I can show you these tendons. go on this side a minute kind of get these feathers pulled back and bend it kind of backwards so this is where I'm working right in here because I can feel it from the front and when you're cutting you can feel bone you know when there's a bone there so if you cut around the bone you're gonna get tendon there I heard some good pop in there. We'll get in there, cut the tendons. Twist, more tendon. And there's my clean cut right there. My little round ball joint and this we throw away now if you have animals around your house that you want to feed chicken parts to or whatever you go for it I don't okay again 
I'm gonna feel up here on the shoulder where that wing starts. I'm gonna go down until I feel the first knuckle area. And I'm going to bend it and feel it cracking there. Now I can see where that's pushing through right there. I'm going to start kind of cutting around that bone because that's where I want the tendons to come so that I can cut it. Let's see. There we go. Got my little round ball there. Now, we have to, like we did the drumstick, we need to pull this out of the skin. These are a little trickier, not gonna lie to you, because this skin likes to stick a lot. So you can just kind of fit your fingers under there or you can now you don't want to cut through things i'm just going to kind of loosen this skin a little bit right there so that i can get in there and pull it on the other side too you're just going to keep pulling until you can kind of grab that got some fat here that it's holding loosen that up just a little you can see kind of the skin stretching with that white substance holding it on I'm gonna get under there and pull all right now I'm there It's so small. I know one of the videos we watched, they didn't even mess with this. They just cut the whole wing off. And I kinda understand. And it's not hard to pull. It's just trying to get a hold of it because it's kinda small there, see? All right, let's see how this one comes out over here. Let's find it. Okay, it is right in here. I'm gonna just keep pulling the feathers back. Again, we've got some white fibers holding us on and pull. just hard to hold on to guys slit that a little bit okay I feel it loosening up Come on. This one is really being stubborn. Mark was doing one and he was struggling with it too. And he said, was it me? I said, heck no. That bird did not want to let go of its wing. And this one doesn't either. There we go. Man, that thing was stubborn. Now we're going to pull our neck out. So it's right here. Pull it out. Now we do have our crawl right here and we have been pulling that out. That's the only innards of sorts that we've been pulling out. 
because we didn't want it to spill out on us. So that's what this thing is here. It's called the craw. And sometimes there's food in there and spills out. So you don't want that. I keep handy a bucket of water so I can keep rinsing my hands off. Okay, my neck is out. My wings are out. My legs are out. Now we're gonna do with my back. So I just go back here and pull. Look at all that fat. I could have rendered some good fat off of this bird. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep pulling and what's gonna happen is this whole section is gonna come off, but it will leave the tail feathers on, which is fine for the way we're doing these birds. So there's the tail feathers. And here is the skin and feathers of the body. One thing you wanna watch is to make sure they haven't pooped on you while you're doing this. And I don't see any on this one, so that's good. You wanna have a separate paper towel or something to clean that up. You don't want that in your water that you're washing your hands in and stuff. Okay, you see feathers here. Let me show you the easy way to do that. I'm going to come on here with a very wet hand. My whole hand is wet. And you can just pick them up. And because your hand is wet, you can kind of just roll them up into a little ball. So um, I'm just going to keep cleaning off the extra feathers that are kind of left behind, except for the tail feathers. I'm leaving those. And when we're done here, we'll go inside and I'll show you how we're going to process the rest of the chicken. Okay, now that the feathers are off i'm going to cut the chicken off the bone and that is how the rest of the chicken will be processed i'm going to start with the legs and thighs so i'm going to push this open just like when i was cutting the feet off and stuff it there's a joint there you see a little um cartilage stuck up part of a bone there so I'm just gonna start cutting and I will feel if I hit bone. And I don't wanna hit bone. <laughs> Try to do this in a way that you can see, but I can still do it. Now, again, you don't wanna go inside the body with this. You wanna stay outside. Okay, let me kind of figure out where my tendons are here. You can see bone. Let me get my little scalpel out here instead. So there's a tendon. Cut that off. And there's my leg and thigh piece. I'm going to put it in some cold water. And we'll wash them all again when we're done. Now we'll do the other side. Push it open and start cutting until it relaxes. Get more here. Okay, let me just see what I've got. There we go. Did you hear that pop? So there's my other thigh and leg. Put it in cold, icy water. 
Now we're going to do basically the same thing with our wings. I'm gonna kind of push them. But those, we're just gonna kind of start cutting. And you will kind of figure it out, kind of keep rotating it. So if you, if you cut too much of the breast off, that just means you'll have a nice meaty little drumette or whatever they're called. <laughs> Okay, I've got some really tight tendons here. And kind of keep pulling. Cut around it until it breaks off. I'm still debating on whether or not keeping the wings was a great plan, considering we're not big wing people. I mean, unless we have 40 or 50 that are barbecued or grilled or whatever, these two little wings are not gonna do much for us. So we're gonna put that in the water. We're gonna go to the other side and start releasing it. Kind of move around it. You can see the little tendons. I feel bone there, so I'm gonna go above that. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of try to bend it, see if I can find that joint and release it, bend it again and release it. Still got something caught there. There we go. All right, there's another leg. So now we have the breast. Now down here, you'll see how squishy that is. We're not going to cut this. If you do, you're gonna end up with all the innards coming out. We're going to take the breast off. The way we're gonna do that is we're going to find that bone and we're just going to cut along, kind of stretch the meat and cut along that bone in just real small, shallow cuts so that you can find what you're looking for. And then we're gonna kind of, just a little bit at a time. Now it's a little bit rocky, so be careful. We're gonna just go against that bone as much as we can and pull it back and release it. You'll come across the ribs, you'll feel those. You don't wanna cut between the ribs. And just keep trimming it off. Now I will tell you, I see the innards right there. This rib cage is really open. So you wanna be real careful. And keep going away at it here little at a time i hit another rib cage bone there and 
and there's my breast and my tenderloin piece all together. This is the tenderloin. So when you buy chicken tenders, this is what that is. And then it's like a separate piece from the big part of the breast. Put that in our water. And now we're gonna do this side. trying to do this in a way that you can see it, but I can still do it without cutting my fingers. There's our second breast. Now these are not meat birds, which means they don't have huge breasts like the birds that you would raise specifically for meat. But I think that's a pretty good sized breast for an egg layer. Now, that is all the meat that we're gonna take off of this. And again, I know some of you are saying, look at all that waste. But the thing is, we weren't even planning on dispatching birds this year. We kind of, it came up on us quickly. We don't have the facility to process a bunch of birds. So I think for what we had, this was a great plan. So that's six more birds in our freezer than we did have. Now, I realize also that these are older birds, so my thinking is I might bake them or stew them and then can them. Take it off the bones and can it so that it's really tender. We'll see what I do for sure. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. If you have a recipe for your older birds, let me know. I would love to figure out other ways to use it. Thanks so much for coming along on this impromptu uh, journey that we went on today. Feel free to leave any suggestions in the comment that could make this a better process. Until next time, blessings on you and yours.